So you've just got checked in, you're at your RV site, now it's time to get backed in. We wanna share a few tips and best practices for getting your RV backed into your parking spot. Tip number one is to listen to just one voice. There are times when you may have very friendly people who wanna help, and if you've got somebody with you who's trusted, stick with that one voice. Try not to get uh, too much information overload. What we'll typically do, you can use a radio, a cell phone, or just have that person walk right next to your truck as you're backing in. Tip number two, a lot of properties have on-site rangers that can assist you in backing up. So if you just want that extra pair of eyes or you need additional help, check with the office to see if someone's available. Tip number three, if your RV does not have a backup camera, you can get aftermarket units that will show you on a separate display in your truck what's behind your RV. Those are great and if you need one, pick one up. All right, now with those three tips under our belt, let's go hop in the truck and I'll show you which way the wheel is turned to get your RV to go a certain direction. Let's go. So parking your trailer, especially for the first time or the first few times can be a challenge, but we're here to help. Once you're ready to go, unless you're lucky enough to have a pull through site, if you are backing in, we have a couple of suggestions for how the wheel needs to be turned to get your trailer going in the correct direction. So a way to think about this is for turning your RV, it's gonna be the opposite of where your steering wheel is turning. So if we turn our wheel to the left, our trailer is gonna go to the right. If we turn to the right, our trailer is going to go the opposite of that and turn to the left. And a quick cheat, something to think about, is on the bottom of your steering wheel, if you, instead of doing this, you can hold the bottom of your steering wheel, turning to the right, but you're pushing to the left. That's the direction that your RV is going to go. So in the opposite way, if we're pushing to the right, but turning left, your RV will go to the right. Might help some of you, something to keep in mind. Getting your RV properly parked on the pad is also very important to make sure you get the most amount of space for your adventure. Generally, your parking space and the space you have to play and set up chairs would be between the two power poles. So you wanna hug as close as you possibly can to the power pole that you're connecting to to give your canopy and chairs plenty of space. And as you see here, this is the exact wrong way to do it. And here you'll see the way we're backing in is hugging very close onto the pad and will be just a foot or so from the power pole. Now you're set to win a gold medal for backing up your RV perfectly straight. You'll be a legend. So I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please share them with some friends and family, especially if they're new to the community. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy your journey. We'll see you next time.